The Basilica of St. Josephat towers over the south side. Its copper domed roof and vibrant murals are sure to catch your eye. Cassandra McShepard shares the history of the Roman Catholic Church. You've probably driven by this hidden gem. It's the crown jewel of Milwaukee's south side. But if you haven't been inside the Basilica of St. Josephat, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. They walk in through the doors and it's, <gasps> you hear that gasp. Yes. It's inevitable, yes. but you can see why. I mean, I see it every day and I'm just still amazed by it. There's only about 85 basilicas in the United States currently. There are two basilicas in Wisconsin, one here and then one in Holy Hill. A basilica has certain requirements to become a basilica. Architecturally and aesthetically, it has to follow the floor plan of the sign of the cross, and it's usually Romanesque, which means a lot of arches, and we've got that covered here. Because it's a basilica, it has to get the okie dokie from the Pope, which involved someone coming from Rome, a papal delegate, bringing our inscription written out, and it's on the wall, that says we are a basilica as of this particular day and that was under Pope Pius XI. In 1929, we were declared the third basilica in the United States. We see the beautiful basilica all the time. I wasn't sure that you could actually come in and visit it. I think it's, you know, treasure in Milwaukee that a lot of people just don't know about. It's so beautiful, so gorgeous, and it's just something that everyone should have the opportunity to see. What are some of the special points of interest within the Basilica? Because we are a Basilica, we have approximately 422 relics. Anytime there is a saint and a new saint canonized, we get a relic. It could be an eyelash, it could be a fingernail, it could be a bone. You can go in, you can look at them, you can touch them, because there can be special meaning for you. We also have these gorgeous stained glass windows, really priceless, from Austria. All of these pews here are hand carved by the Polish artisans who lived in this neighborhood. There's also a lower church. There's a lower church. We have weekday masses down there. And then uh, there is that lovely gathering space where people either come for a meeting or meet and greet on Sundays. We have concerts here at Christmas time and in the spring, and it's just an incredible experience to witness and to be part of the music that is played here. I know that we have a mass every year for the police officers. That's very special and near and dear to this particular community. It's unique and it's, and it's certainly just having it here in Milwaukee. I think everyone should have the opportunity to visit it, to get to know it. It's their basilica. 